we have to recognize that uh, acting on climate change, that moving us forward with an actual plan is essential. Number one, what sets the Greens apart is that we will not continue to subsidize the oil and gas industry. The NDP and the Liberals together in 2019 voted to support a $6 billion giveaway to the fracking and LNG industry. We have to have a plan in place that gets our emissions down and starting with not giving government money to the oil and gas industry, but instead investing that into clean energy, regionally distributed so that communities can have jobs in every part of the province, recognizing that we could be moving forward with retrofitting, which reduces the energy that buildings use and would also be creating jobs in every community in the province. We have to look at our forestry practices because they are emitters, not absorbers of greenhouse gases, but we also have to recognize the importance of having clean water. And fracking is a danger to our water, it's a danger to our air, we have to have the importance of recognizing healthy soil where we can grow our food and have healthy local food security. We have to recognize that our air quality is absolutely essential. The smoke that we've had in BC because of the fires has affected all of us. We need to identify where we want to get to, not just on greenhouse gas emissions, but what does a healthy neighborhood and community look like and then take steps to get there.